Well, and that's what I always, I'm getting ready to produce a movie about um, a homosexual hippie from the early 70s who God used as a catalyst to start the Jesus movement. He had a vision on, outside of a mountain, and he came away from homosexuality, but he eventually died of AIDS because of, it's a long, long story. But the thing is, you can imagine in the early 70s how God used the hippies. Mm -hmm. What if God started touching uh, homosexuals, right? Uh, porn stars, all these people, right. and they start preaching the gospel, and people look at them in church like, you know, right. it's unconventional. Right. And if they started coming to church, the majority of the churches would probably reject them. Right. But the way that you're doing it, you know, your church is lovingly accepting them right. and embracing them. Right. Now, let me tell you, you have a situation at home, too, mm -hmm. where you told me about your, your husband and how you got married six years ago and God started bringing you both in at the same time into church. Now, your husband has brain cancer. Yes. I'm bringing this up is because sometimes people look at you, you're a beautiful girl, now it seems like all these things are opening up. You had mm -hmm. one little media outlet that picked up the story right. in England, and now it's become this media frenzy that you've been on. What are some of the shows you've been on? Um, yeah, Geraldo, Hannity and Combs, Current Affair. I've flown to England to be on shows now. Um, 700 Club. 700 Club, James Robinson. Yeah, just um, a slew, a slew of shows. Um, Bill O'Reilly twice. Um, I've been in the LA Times. I've been in the Associated Press, which went out over hundreds. I've been in the Associated Press for France, which went, you know, I have stories in Africa about me, Argentina, Brazil. And so you're getting emails from all over, all the, over world, the world. All over the world. From girls and from people from that girls. are touched by the uh -huh. story. Yes, yes. But in the same time, you are, are with a very challenging circumstance yes. with your husband who's had several brain operations. Yes, yes. And his cancer right now is... is yeah, he, he's incurable. And it is a definite challenge in our, in our home. Four years ago, um, I started supporting my husband because he had a massive brain hemorrhage and he became very disabled. It's hard for him to read. It's hard for him to write. Um, his memory isn't as good, so I'm definitely my husband's caretaker. He has times that he's very disabled, and he has times that he's doing better. Right now, he is doing better. He's able to do, like, help out more, do maybe, you know, some work. But technically, for the past four years, I've been the breadwinner. I've been the one um, supporting my whole family, you know, my children, my husband, the medical bills, all of that. On my right, own. so it's very challenging, and it's now very challenging. a reality um, television show right. has basically um, is going to be launching a new series, which right. will be airing in the near future. And right. you're moving to Vegas. I'm moving to Vegas. Yeah, that's the thing is that you know it's been an exciting ride with God. With God, you know, like um, He's pretty much said okay and you know that's almost the blessing of you know my husband and I we were doing chemo and radiation and all those things and we're at a point now where we can't you know there's no more chemo there's no more radiation we're at this bad point now and so instead of sitting around um, God said hey you guys are going to Vegas and you're gonna do missionary work out there and that's the exciting thing is that I, I, I can't wait to be in Vegas and be able to just do my ministry every day of my life. And it see really what God is going to do. Yeah, really. Now, we've just got about three minutes of the show left. You know, it's not only women that get sucked into this particular mm -hmm. sex industry. There's many men, because men are visually stimulated right. by, you know, what they see. Right. Where women, of course, it's more of an emotional attachment right. and a bonding. And so there's a lot of men that are sucked into pornography, where it literally causes the woman to become just a, you know, an image. Uh -huh. or. It, and it really destroys the relationship with other future relationships right. with women. Right. What would you say to some of those men watching? Well, you know, in all honesty, it's not worth it. It's not worth the damaging effects that it's going to do to them f down the line. You know, there is going to be uh, this magical woman that they're in love with, that they fall in love with it because they viewed porn so much. She's not going to be enough, even though she is enough. And um, 
there are long-term effects to pornography and it's not worth paying the price and once they're in it you know there is help there are websites there are places that they can look and find tools there are practical things they can do to get rid of porn you know first have being accountable to someone finding someone that they can tell then there are programs that they can set up on their computers if they have to use their computer and um, it's definitely worth fighting because it will put a damaging effect on their life forever. Well, let's do this, Heather. This is the last minute of the show. Let's pray for those people watching. Sure. And I believe that God is going to really move uh, on you watching the program today. You may be watching and you are addicted to pornography. There's many uh, men of all ages that are addicted to pornography. Uh, you might be a young girl that's thinking that, you know, this seems really exciting to me. You know, so often girls will watch, look at Playboy and so many careers have been launched by this, but it's just a dead end street. Let's just agree in prayer, Heather. We're going sure. to agree for you that God is going to do something today and touch you even through this television screen. And so God, we just pray for those people watching. And I thank you, Lord God, that right now that you're reaching down and you're touching into people's lives, into those men's hearts, Lord God, deliver them from that spirit of pornography. Lord God, and those young girls that are watching the program, let them know that this is just a dead end, that is nothing going to make them satisfied. I thank you, Lord, that you're gonna pull them out for such a time as this. And you know, I sense by the spirit of the Lord that there is a, a man and there's many men watching that the Lord is saying to you today that if you will set this aside and you will put it on the altar that the Lord is going to take this from your heart and he's going to totally eradicate that pat you know that that passion that's in your heart it's almost a burning that you can't get rid of that God is going to supernaturally deliver you from that if you're willing to give it to him and I also sense there's some young girls watching in fact I hear uh, the Lord saying Heather there's another girl named Heather watching the program who's really been touched by your story and that God is going to supernaturally deliver you for such a time as this God has called you and chosen you Heather and I sense you're very talented that you're a talented singer that God will use the abilities that he's given you if you will just make the choice to say yes to the Lord. Now, Heather, you made this commitment to the Lord mm -hmm. six years ago. Mm -hmm. What, you know, maybe just share, we have 30 seconds left. There's people watching. What type of prayer did you pray? It's really just asking them to come in. It's as yeah. simple as that. Yeah, what really, prayer is that? Really, I just asked God to come into my life and to be the, the leader that I would follow him, that when I wake up in the morning, I'd wake up for him. And when I go to bed, I'd go to bed for him. And that's it. It's just giving a full commitment, a marriage. I married him, and that, that was it, and saying I'm going to be with him for the rest of my life. Yes, and you too can do that same thing and become a holy hottie like Heather. Yes. Become a holy hottie because, you know, you can be hot for God. You can be beautiful God. See, the thing is, a lot of times is I, I know what happened with me. I thought if I became a Christian, I would, I would not. I would give up everything and I would become somebody that I wasn't meant to be and it was exactly the opposite. Thanks for watching Now is the Time. Remember, now is the time for you to start serving the Lord and walking in the purposes that He's called you. If you'd like to go to Heather's website, you'll see it on the screen, www.jcsgirls.com. And if you'd like to write to me, it's mary at marycrawley.com. Thanks for watching, see you next week. From Africa to the streets of Aberdeen, Scotland, to the heart of Jerusalem, Mary Crowley Ministries and the Now is the Time television program have been reaching out worldwide with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Her boldness and compassion for others is what makes Mary Crowley Ministries effective. We invite you to be part of this growing and exciting ministry. You know, it's been quite a rewarding year, but there are so many more places to go and people to help. Your partnering with me will enable us to share the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ with stories of faith and hope that you won't see in any other program. And through my conferences and teachings, you'll find encouragement and purpose for your life. Consider joining with Mary and becoming a covenant partner. For your monthly donation of $50 or more, you will receive a DVD of the Now is the Time program, a copy of Mary's book entitled When God Speaks, 
Mary's monthly newsletter, and special invitations to Mary's conferences. To begin your covenant partnership, please send your tax-deductible gift to Mary Crowley Ministries, 30100 Town Center Drive, Suite 244, Laguna Niguel, California, 92677. Or visit Mary's website at www.marycrowley.com. And that's M-E-R-I-C-R-O-U-L-E-Y. Thanks for watching Now is the Time. I hope to see you next week. God bless you.